1940 in France. Events from the year 1940 in France. Incumbents. Chief of State, Albert Lebrun, until 11 July. Philip Pétain, starting 11 July. Vice President of the Council of Ministers. Until 21 March, Edouard Daladier, 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 21 March minus 16 June, Paul Reynaud, 16 June minus 11 July, Philip Pétain, 11 July minus 13 December, Pierre Laval, starting 13 December, Pierre Etienne Flandin, events, 21 March, Edouard Daladier resigns as Prime Minister, French cabinet shuffles and Daladier is replaced by Paul Reynaud, 10 May Battle of France begins, German forces invade Low Countries, 13 May German armies open 60 mile wide breach in Maginot Line at Sedan. 18 May Marshal Philip Pétain named Vice Premier of France. 19 May General Maxime Weygand replaces Maurice Gamelin as Commander in Chief of all French forces. 20 May German forces, under General Erwin Rommel, reach the English Channel. 26 May Dunkirk evacuation of British Expeditionary Force starts. 3 June Paris is bombed by the Luftwaffe for the first time. 4 June Dunkirk evacuation ends British forces complete evacuating 300,000 troops. 10 June French government flees to Tours. Italy declares war on France and the United Kingdom. 12 June 13,000 British and French troops surrender to Field Marshal Erwin Rommel at St. Valery in Cox. 13 June Paris is declared an open city. 14 June Paris falls under German occupation and German troops march past the Arc de Triomphe following exactly the same route that the victorious French troops coming home from the First World War 22 years previously. French government flees to Bordeaux. 15 June Verdun falls to German forces. 16 June the Churchill War Ministry in the United Kingdom offers a Franco-British Union inspired by Jean Monnet to Paul Reynaud. Prime Minister of France, in the hope of preventing France from agreeing to an armistice with Germany, but Reynaud resigns when his own cabinet refuses to accept it. 17 June, Philip Pétain becomes Prime Minister of France and immediately asks Germany for peace terms. Operation Ariel begins Allied troops start to evacuate France, following Germany's takeover of Paris and most of the nation. Luftwaffe Junkers 88 bomber sinks RMS Lancastria, serving as a British troop ship evacuating troops and nationals from near St. Nazaire, with the loss of at least 4,000 lives, immediate news of which is suppressed in the British press. 18 June Appeal of 18 June, General Charles de Gaulle, de facto leader of the Free French Forces, makes his first broadcast appeal over radio launders from London, rallying the French resistance, calling on all French people to continue the fight against Nazi Germany. France has lost a battle, but France has not lost the war. 21 June Armistice negotiations begin at Compigny. 22 June Armistice of 22 June 1940, the French Third Republic and Nazi Germany sign an armistice ending the Battle of France in the forest of Compigny, in the same wagons lit railroad car used by Marshal Ferdinand Falk to conclude the armistice of 11 November 1918 with Germany. This divides France into a zone occupied in the north and west under the military administration in France Nazi Germany and a southern zone Libra, Vichy France. 23 June Adolf Hitler surveys newly defeated Paris. 24 June Vichy France signs armistice terms with Italy. 28 June General Charles de Gaulle is officially recognized by Britain as a leader of all free Frenchmen, wherever they may be. 3 July Attack on Mers el Kebir. British naval units sink or seize ships of the French fleet anchored in the Algerian ports of Mers el Kebir and Oran to prevent them from falling into German hands. 4 
July Vichy France breaks off diplomatic relations with Britain. 10 July Vichy France begins with a constitutional law where only 80 members of the parliament vote against. 12 September Lascox. 17,000 year old cave paintings are discovered by a group of young Frenchmen hiking through southern France. The paintings depict animals and date to the Stone Age. Births January to June. 6 March Philip Amari, publishing tycoon and entrepreneur, died 2006. 6 March Philip Lacquel Labard, philosopher, literary critic, and translator, died 2007. 18 March Arlette Lagler, Trotskyist politician. 25 March Jean Ipaya, computer scientist, died 2007. 27 May Jean Claude Piumi, soccer player, died 1996. 17 June Marcel Auber, international soccer player, Ericker player, Ericker player, Ericker player, Ericker player, Ericker player, Ericker. July to December. 23 July, Daniel Colovert, author, poet, and journalist, died 1978. 28 August, Philip Leotard, actor and singer, died 2001. 31 August, Jean Pierre Taser, politician and professional football player, ball player, air all player. 24 September, Eve Navar, writer, died 1994. 24 October, Jean Pierre Jennet, cyclist, died 2005. 30 December, Philip Kausto, oceanographer, died 1979. Deaths 16 January, Emile Felix Gautier, geographer, born 1864. 2 February, Eugene Appet, pediatrician, born 1868. 14 March, Paul Lemoyne, geologist, born 1878. 24 March, Edward Branley, inventor and physicist, born 1844. 13 April, Pierre Marie, neurologist, born 1853. 18 May, Adolf Guillemet, Army General, born 1864. 23 May, Paul Nizin, philosopher and writer, born 1905. 6 June, Morris Arnoux, World War I flying ace, born 1895. 2 August, Jules Louis Breton, chemist, politician, and inventor, born 1872. 25 August, Jean Dorleans, Duc de Guise, great-grandson of Louis Philippe I, King of the French, born 1874. 4 September, Emile Regnier, World War I flying ace, born 1896. 27 November, Henry Golomit, aviator, born 1902.